I'm currently living in San Miguel de Allende and today we went to the grocery store La Comer which is like a super fancy grocery store here in Mexico so I wanted to take you on a little grocery store tour. If you're like me and you like mercados or markets and grocery shops in different places, different cities and countries and whatnot. I went ahead and filmed my partner and I shopping in the grocery store La Comer today and so I hope you enjoy. Today we're going to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Those delightful little barkers are the dogs who actually live downstairs from our house. They're the owner of the property's dogs and it is the groundskeepers that keep an eye on them. We live behind two gigantic gates. That's the one to our private property that Amber's walking through. And then this one um, takes us out of the little, it's like a little gated community, I guess. So once we open, open this, this you'll see that this is where our Uber picks us up. So the Ubers here in San Miguel de Allende are really reasonably priced, especially compared to the United States. Um, as we're driving to the grocery store, I'm going to show you a little bit around our neighborhood. So you'll see some buildings and some art as well. It's about an 11 ish minute drive maybe sometimes 15 minutes depending on the traffic and the uber ride in total including if you decide to tip the driver is around 85 pesos which is close to almost five dollars a little bit like four and i don't know 75 cents maybe so not bad for an uber ride Notice the difference in this part of town versus where we live. It's very modern, very um, commercial. La Comer is a huge, fancy grocery store. By the way, the first time I went to a La Comer was in Puerto Vallarta. And this surprised me, this that we're walking into right now. So here we are grabbing our cart, but check out how clean, well-lit, well-organized, and like the large variety of products that you see inside of this grocery store. Um, I love it for the convenience of just being able to grab everything all at one time. Um, this is one of the things that we do in order to get our groceries. There's so many different options also um, here in La Comer, but if you decided to get your groceries in the neighborhood at the local mercados or even on the weekends at um, a bigger market called the Tianguis de San Miguel, you end up spending way less money. So you'll see how much we spend in this grocery store at the end. But for now, let's go through and just show you the wide variety of products. Um, here we are grabbing some cold pressed juices. So delicious. Tropic cool. Tropic cool, it is. I have to say that before we actually ended up moving to Mexico, I totally underestimated it. I had been to Tulum, Cozumel, La Paz, and all on like these beach sort of vacations, like this kind of get away from it all sort of vibe. And the parts of Mexico that I was seeing, although they were beautiful and serene and just have that like beachy vibe, they weren't any place that I ever saw myself living. Um, and so... Us being here in San Miguel de Allende, it's also super different than the place we were at before we were living in Sayulita. And though there was a La Comer in Puerto Vallarta, which is a town super close by, I mean, you can reach Puerto Vallarta like in 30 minutes, I think, from Sayulita. Uh, we ended up doing a lot of our grocery shopping just very local in Sayulita. But since this grocery store is close, if there's anything that we just need 
and it's kind of last minute and the reason why we're actually here is to buy some ingredients to make my dog some dog food um it's super convenient to be able to find this wide variety of products and a lot of products too that just make it feel familiar and comforting because they're so similar to the products that I could find um, back in the United States. Meanwhile, here is the bakery. And I love the bakery in La Comer. All of the baked goods, the pan dulce and the other savory bun. Bun is the word for bread, if you don't know. It is so fresh. It's so fresh. I was super impressed finding everything from baguettes to cookies to croissants here. Um, and you can see kind of in the back there, the giant ovens that they are baking in all day long. So here I am grabbing just a few little treats. And this process was something that was new to me when I first discovered it in Puerto Vallarta, um, you grab all the bread, you put it on this tray, and then the people who work at the bakery, they kind of bag it up for you and put the pricing stickers on it. So here's a closer look at the giant ovens. You see those loaves of bread in the background? Um, it's just fascinating. You could smell the bakery too. Here's Amber taking a little side tour of the cakes. Um, chocolate cake is her favorite, so I'm not surprised <laughs> that she's showing you that little part. Here's our breads, and we're off to show you the rest of the grocery store. So notice how many aisles. Like, look behind me and just see, like, how long... And wide these aisles are, there's barely anybody in this grocery store right now, um, which is uh, my one of my favorite times during the day to shop when you kind of have that entire aisle all to yourself. And here we are. I don't even know what aisle this is. It looks like we've got some, oh, pancake mix. <laughs> of course, we had to grab some. And... Here we are grabbing some fancy peanut butter made with coconut oil. So a lot of these groceries you'll notice are imported. Um, a lot of them as well are local here made in Mexico. And I just had to show you this aisle. Okay, so I'm vegetarian. I don't drink dairy milk, but this aisle has such a wide variety of milk it is mind-blowing and it's not the only aisle of milk that you'll find here at la comer um here is a on the other side is just a giant aisle of cereals and the aisle of paper products which everybody needs i'm gonna go for this golden hills toilet paper um just because this is like the this is the La Comer brand, so it's the cheapest, but it's still high quality. Next, we are off to another milk section where I'm actually going to grab some milk. You'll see it on the right-hand side. Now, this area, this refrigerated area, is dairy products, um, some other frozen products, uh, and there's a little bit of like vegan, vegetarian things on the very end as well. I'm about to grab some butter here. I think I end up grabbing an Icelandic brand. And when I first came to La Comer, the one that was in Puerto Vallarta, the butter aisle was one of the most shocking aisles. I guess just the sheer amount of different brands and varieties of butter. Now, here is a sneak preview of what you're going to see at the very end. Amber ended up finding one of my favorite desserts here in the frozen food section. Um, and as we're exiting, after we're done with the dairy and the frozen foods, you can see that there are there's a section for bedding, a section for electronics. There's a whole giant section coming up that you'll see for face, body, and hair care. There's a pharmacy also included in the La Comer. Mm -hmm. 
So have you ever been in a Mexican grocery store? And if you have been in one, did it happen to be La Comer or something like it? Honestly, it was one of the most happy finds that I think that I had when we first moved to Mexico, simply for the comfort that it provides. Now, I'm going to be taking you through local markets and other sort of shopping experiences here too. Boom, we spent a little bit over $100 and check out all of the groceries that we got. There's about three bags full back here. That's the huge thing of eggs over there and I'm about to show you some dessert that I got. My favorite desserts, raspberry macaroni. And then we brought all our groceries up the hill because as you can see, we live on a pretty high hill here in San Miguel de Allende. And Amber unloaded while I did a session with my therapist. And that's all for today. So I hope you enjoyed coming with us to La Comer, the huge grocery store, huge fancy grocery store here in San Miguel de Allende.